So today we are going to be doing some frozen watercolors. Um, I'm sorry this finds you guys kind of late. Um, as I said in the email, I was diagnosed with strep for the second time this month. It's getting kind of annoying. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I wanted to knock this out. Um, double sorry that this is not the normal, you can see me kind of video. Um, Adam is actually going to bed right now, and my husband is busy supervising with my older two children cleaning their rooms. So I'm just doing this one solo. Um, forgive me, please. Uh, so we're going to get this going. This um, this is actually my second time recording this because the first time goofed up. So sorry for the little bit of spoilers here on this paper. But um, yeah, I made frozen watercolors. How I did this is I just put water in ice cube trays and put some food coloring in it. Um, this is great to do outside because it melts and as it melts you get more color, which I think is really cool. You can also do this with paint. You can just freeze paint. Um, you can water it down a little bit to get that watercolor effect. Or if you do have watercolors at home, you can break some up and put them in the ice cube trays with the water and it'll melt and dissolve into liquid watercolor. So um, I had meant to get this video out much earlier, but you know, my ice cubes had to freeze after I made them. So that kind of put a damper on my plans. But without further ado, here we go. All right. So um, I like to do this outside, as I said, because it melts and then you get much more color payoff. Um, the warmth of your hands also helps it melt. With food coloring, you are going to get a little bit of hand stainage. Um, with babies, you can put like popsicle sticks in it so they have something to grab onto. And that way, too, they're not getting mad about their fingers getting cold. Um, you could even probably put like a pacifier in there or something to hold onto. That would probably be pretty neat. But yeah, super simple, really easy, lots of fun. Um, you, sometimes with the food coloring ones, you can kind of see it in here, like more concentration goes to different parts of the ice cube. So like as they use it, they'll get different shades of blue, which I think is cool. Um, you could probably even do this in the bathtub as like a form of a bath activity. Maybe let them color on the tub. I don't know how food coloring would come out of that. So maybe not just thinking out loud, but, um, yeah, I hope this is something that you guys can use. Um, I miss everybody. Hope things are going well. I can turn around and show you my face. Um, sorry again that this is late. Um, that strap monster just keeps getting me <laughs> and getting me good. But um, I am feeling better, so next week we should be right on schedule. But um, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend.